Hey, what is going on guys? Talk Norris City here, back with another video. Today I'm doing my preferred 11 ahead of this weekend's clash against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Um, behind me you'll see I've already lined my team out, but of course I've brought back the A4 paper. You guys love it. Um, no expenses spared. Anyway, let's get straight into it. In goal, I brought the man back. It's John Ruddy. I left him out of my preferred 11 last week, but he had a clean sheet against Swansea and you can't drop your keeper if he's just had a clean sheet. Admittedly, he didn't have much to do, but who cares? He kept a clean sheet. That means confidence gained. He's had a week off. Probably what he needed to just regroup, have a bit of time with the family. And I'm thinking John Ruddy will have a fantastic game. Let's not forget, he does like knocking people out at Stamford Bridge. He famously knocked out Didier Drogba there. What a man. Um, in at right back, Stevie Witts. I really want to see Steven Whitaker play. I like Steven Whitaker, and I think he's really made for this game because of his work rate, because of the way he gets forward, and also the way he gets back. Now, you'll see in a minute, I've left someone out. Let's get straight into the defence, actually. Anyway, let's just let's just tear off all of these. Let's just go mad. Um, so we've got Basong, then Bennett, and then at left back, I've put... Olsen. So you can see there, I've left out Russell Martin. Now, of course, he returns from suspension. That was why he was left out last week, because he was suspended. I don't want to see Russell Martin back in here. I don't think he's equipped enough to cope with the likes of Diego Costa, Willian, Hazard, Oscar. The list goes on. And I think this defence is a lot more capable of doing well against that scary Chelsea attack. Um, I think Basong and Bennett are pretty much locked down their starting positions now. Yes, I know it's not ideal, but for what we've got, it is the best we've got. Uh, and then Olsen at left back, starting to bring his form back. A lot more game time under his belt. Of course, played for Sweden in midweek, which helps a lot. Um, and I think that defence is probably the best. Let me know if you guys want to see Russell Martin back in the squad. Personally, I don't. Uh, I'd like to see Tete captain the side again. Moving on to Tete. He's going in my starting lineup. Of course he is, the Norwegian maestro. Uh, Alex Tete will be grouped alongside his partner in crime, Yusuf Malumbu. I think this defensive midfield partnership works wonders, and especially against a team like Chelsea, who, yes, they are below us in the table. I can't believe I'm saying that, but still have a frightening attack. And if they switch it on, we're going to concede goals. Now, these will just provide the defensive covering that we need. And it worked wonders at Manchester City. Malumbu's coming back into fitness. He looks really good. And Alex Tete, well, he's Alex Tete. It needs no explaining, really. Uh, now, I'm going to have three players in front of him. One being Johnny Howson. Now, one I've left Redmond out because at the time of recording, I don't know whether he'll be fit. I think he might be fit. I'm not too sure. But for the first half, anyway, of this game, I would have started Johnny House, and mainly because he adds a bit more uh, cover in this midfield. Redmond doesn't really like to track back too much. He does, of course, track back. I'm not criticising him there. But Housen is more down to getting the dirty bits done in the middle. But if we're still in the game, um, with, say, 60 minutes gone, of course, bring Redmond on if he's fit. He changes games in an instant. He'd done that at Manchester City so, so well. Next to him... The Irish Messi, he's going to the Euros. It's Wesley Houlihan, the 33-year-old assist magician, is going in my team, mainly because I think this is a game that is there for the taking. We don't want to go too defensive. We've, of course, got this defensive partnership, and we've got Housen who can come back in. But let's not forget Chelsea are below us in the table, and they are there for the taking. They're low on confidence. The fans are low on confidence. We might as well have a creative player in there who can create these chances because the likelihood is we are going to be getting forward at times. And if we haven't got Wes Hulan in there and we've got Johnny Housen on the pitch and not at Redmond, it's going to be unlikely that we're going to be creating too many chances. So that's my reasoning for putting Wes Hulan in there. Next to him, Robbie Brady, sign of the season, probably player of the season as well. Um, I just think he's, he's good. That's, he's just good, isn't he? He's also going to the Euros. Um, the reason I've created these two, one, I think Matthew Jarvis is still out injured. I think I'm right in saying that. Um, but Brady works really nicely there. We saw him played in this position at West Ham. He scored a goal there. But he gives so much going forward and also defensively. He's great at set pieces. He's got a killer left foot on him. He's just got everything you want for a left winger to have. Uh, he's, that guy's got it. Up front now... Still not too sure about this, but I have gone with the Umbok, the Congolese monster. It's the Mercy and Bacani. Um, of course, got that assist and, and changed the game against Swansea, so it'll be hard to drop him off that kind of form. But 
I just think he's a better player than Jerome, to be honest. But I'm not saying I wouldn't completely uh, drop Jerome. I think Jerome possibly has a part to play in this game and possibly even starting. Um, against Manchester City, Jerome started and he done really well there. So I'm not too sure if the away games, Jerome is more of the man to do that and have a McCartney come off the bench and maybe go two up top and drop a player out of here or something. I'm not too sure. Leave me your thoughts in the comments on that. Uh, I really like Mbakani as a player and my only reason for putting him in there is because he's a bit more of an intelligent player. He's got experience against these types of teams. So is Jerome. I just think Mbakani is a more intelligent player and in the form he's in, you can't really drop him. Um, other changes you could make to this team, I guess you could go for the exact same formation we went at Man City. Drop Robbie Brady in at right wing back, push Olsen up and then have sort of three centre backs you'd obviously then probably have to put Russell Martin in there and deploy that and then drop Houlihan out of the squad but I think Chelsea are there for the taking you know yes they've got a quality team but they're low on confidence the fans are low on confidence and they've conceded quite a lot of goals this season they're not the defensive unit that they used to be they've dropped eight points from winning positions this year so even if we go behind we're still in the game um I just think they're there for the taking. We might as well try and go for it. There's nothing really to lose. We could send them into the relegation zone if we win. Um, but of course, we've got to go there. I'm sure Alex Neil will set us up in a solid formation. For me, this week, it's more about the formation we play, not the players we put in. That's what I really struggled with. Uh, so let me know what team you would play. Uh, I'll, as always, I'll read the comments and reply to quite a lot of them. But yeah, thank you ever so much for watching this. I've done a collaboration over on 100% Chelsea. So go over there. Links will be in the description to that. Hit subscribe as always so you never miss out. It's free. You might as well. Loads and loads of content coming up. I'm heading to Stamford Bridge with Chris and his mate Mike. We're going to be going down there doing loads of fan cams and stuff. So if you do see me at Chelsea, I will be doing fan cams outside of the away end straight after the game. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.